Welcome back to project. In our previous two sessions, we have seen complete HTML and also I have given you complete CSS styling in comment section. Now from this session onwards, we are going to work on JavaScript. We will fetch the data from the API. We will search random data. Using keyword, we are going to search data. We are going to display single data. And for all that, we are going to write functions. We are going to use many JavaScript concepts and we are going to fetch the data. If you have not watched previous videos, then I suggest you to watch that videos so that you can follow along with me. So let's start with JavaScript. I will come to script.js and this was our previous result. Now when I click on random button, it is not going to work. When I click on search button, it is not going to work. This is my demo project. When I click on random button, the data will be fetched from the API and all the content will be displayed. As I mentioned, I have not focused much on styling part because stylings can be given by anyone if you have learned CSS and it completely depends on individual person how you want to style your website. So I have not focused much on CSS part because I want to focus more on JavaScript concept so that if you are looking only for JavaScript project, you don't have to sit and watch entire CSS styling. Oh my god. So whatever basic stylings I have done, that stylings I have already pasted in comment section. So if you want, you can copy that, you can paste in your project or you can give your own stylings. I will come to my project page. Now inside this first thing what we are going to do, we are going to access the variables. Variables in the sense for search button, for this random button, for this input value, for this entire form, what form we have created here. For all this, we are going to create separate variable and we are going to access that one. I will come to script.js. We will start writing the code instead of giving theory part. I will be using const keyword. First, I will be accessing search is equal to document dot get element by id now for this what i have to do i will come here if you see here for this button i am not going to give but for inside this input field i have given this id as search i am going to access this input field i will be pasting it here now if i just write here console console.log and inside this I am just going to write search. Save this. I am just going to open inspect console. You can see I am able to access my input field. So using this get element by id for whichever id I have given I can access that one. I can write that id here and I can access that particular element. Then next, I want to access my submit button. That is my form. You can see inside this form, we have given the ID as submit. I will copy this. I will create one variable. I will give the variable name as submit. Is equal to document dot get element by ID. And inside this, I am going to give submit. So whenever I click on this search button, we are going to add event listener. Whenever I click on that button, only then the data should be fetched from the API. Then next we are going to access this random button. I will copy the same thing. Instead of here, instead of this, I will write random. Copy random and here I will be pasting random. Now if you come down, in my HTML, I am having id is equal to random. In our HTML structure, we have already given all the IDs and all the classes. So I am just going to continue with JS. Then next, I will come to index.html. Below this button, we are having our result heading. Meal result heading. Using this heading, we are going to access this data. Let me come here. I will click on, I will just write here chicken. Search. For this paragraph, for this particular paragraph, whichever we are having, for that I am going to access this. 
I will come here. I will copy this. And here let me just write result heading. And inside this ID, I am going to give the ID which I have given for my paragraph. Again, I will come to index.html. Then this is our diff container, entire diff container, which will be having all these meals. Inside this, for individual images, we have this ID. I am going to access that one copy and this will be treated as individual elements or individual items so in the similar way i am going to give the name i will just remove this i will write meals el that is meal element and inside this i am going to give the id as meals so whatever variable names you want you can give you can give this variable name based on your wish but this id whatever we are giving that should be exactly matching with the ID which is given in HTML page. Then next finally we have the single diff container where we are going to display single images. When I click on this single image will be displayed. So I am going to access this as well. I will copy and for this I am going to give single single meal EL single meal element and here I will be pasting ID. As of now, we have access six variables. We have search for this input field. We have submit button for our form. We have random button. We have result heading, meals element, and finally single element. Now, once it is done, I am just going to add event listener for this button. I will come to my project. Now, whenever I click anywhere, it is not going to work because we have not added any event listener as well as we have not created any function so what we can do i will just write here submit this is my form variable submit dot add event listener what event i have to add i have to add submit event listener whenever i click on submit only then this should work now let me just write one alert alert and here I will write one. I will save this. Now you can see as soon as I saved, I am having this alert. When I click on this search, I am having alert. When I click on this input field, I am not going to get anything. Why I am getting for this button? If you see here, I am having type is equal to submit for my button. So whenever I click on this button, this event listener will be called on our form. And we are going to generate this alert. I will come here. Now for this input field, I am going to give the type as submit. And for this button, I am going to remove. I will save this. Now when I click on this input field, you can see what is the difference. Wherever I have given type is equal to submit, whenever I click on that, I am going to get the result. Now let me change this one. Type is equal to text for this input field and for button we are giving submit so that whenever we click on this we will be able to fetch the data i will remove now in place of this alert what i want i want to create function to find the meals from where we have to find the meals from api we are going to find the meals so i'm just going to write the function as find meal this function name also it depends on your choice what name you want based on your project requirement you can give now i'll save this now if i write anything or if i click anything it is not going to work because we have not created this function if i just inspect this one in console i will be having this error and caught reference error find meal is not defined because we have not created the function let me just close this now I am going to create function. Function find meal. Let me just write here console. Console dot log. Function defined something just to display the result. I will change the spelling. I will open inspect 
I will just keep side by side. Now I am not having any error because we have already defined the function now. Now just keep on noticing here where I am pointing my cursor. As soon as I click on this search button, you can see the result function defined. It came and it disappeared. Again, when I click on this, it came and it disappeared. So what happening here is by default, our data is getting submitted and our form is getting refreshed. Again, when I click on this, you can see it is just going to submit and we will not be getting the stable result. I will close this. So what we will do, we are going to pass event listener. We will just write here E and inside this, we are just going to prevent that default behavior. By default, it is going to refresh. Now what we will do, we will be preventing that. So for that, we have this prevent default method. I will write this. Now save this. I will just open inspect. Now when I click on search, you can see I am having this result. Now my result is stable and also I am able to see my result. That is the reason we pass this event handler so that we can prevent the default behavior. Now what we have to search here, whatever item I am writing here, suppose let me just write here pizza. This particular pizza I want to access and using this keyword I want to search the data inside the API. So first we are going to access this. Let me just comment it out. Inside this I will write const item is equal to search search dot value. Search id is for input field. I will come here. You can see I have given search. We have already accessed our input field. And for that input field, we are just accessing the value. Save this. Let me just log this one. Log item save. I will write here pizza. Before that, let me open my console. Now, as soon as I click on search button, I am able to access pizza. Whatever data I am having inside input field, I am able to access that one. So, using this dot value, we are able to access this input field value. Most of the time, what we do, we will just create this function above this event handler. So, I will be creating here. I have just pasted the function and I will be writing the comments. Function to fetch API data. Now, what I will check if this field is empty or not. Let me come here. Now, I am not having any data inside the input field. Without writing any data, if I just click on this, I will get please enter values. So, similar way we are just going to create. Let me comment it out. And inside this, if my item, we have seen item dot trim, remove this trim function, it is going to remove the spaces. And here, let me just write one alert data, data is present data is present else i will be writing alert please enter item name save this now what i have done using this stream function we have already accessed this pizza if i am having any spaces it is going to remove. So what this string function will be doing? It is going to remove the spaces. If we do not have anything, then we are going to get this alert. If we have entered anything, we are just going to remove the extra spaces. Now without writing anything, if I click on search, I will get please enter item name. If I type something, now when I click on search, I will get data is present, which means I have given this value. So what we have to do, this will be the alert. If my input field is empty, then we are going to get this alert. If it is not, we are just going to fetch the data here. Fetch API data and 
display in browser okay this video is becoming very lengthy so next session we are going to see how to fetch api data and display in a browser